so this is a stream that Bo Blacks did yesterday when this video came when the other video came out. And um he did this members only stream. He only had like five viewers. Uh it did not get received well. He ends up fighting with fucking person after person after fucking person after person in chat. And just a lot of things do come out. There was a couple like really interesting points that come out in this. So I'll, I'll stop at him. I mean, a lot of the stuff is kind of talked about sporadically in all of this. And we're going to get more information on the gender stuff. You're going to get more information on the drug situation. If you remember that with Bo Box doing the cocaine. Remember the whole thing was, I wish he was a drug addict. It's not that simple that Nick talked about a while back uh, yeah. before even all these other. Yeah, we get more on that. Everything. So, and then some other like just little interesting things that come about here and there um i i i just think it's like shows kind of how out of touch bo blacks might be in this moment and I, I maybe i'll elaborate once we get to that point i forgot to brush my hair before i said start stream i was so excited to just press start i don't know how many people are gonna view this because live because it's members only but <laughs> dude, i don't even have a plan dude maybe i need a plan if i'm gonna do members only because It'll probably mostly be watching. Yeah, we'll go down to one, one and a half. That's a little too quick. Like, you don't need a plan, Bo Blacks. We're, we never have a plan. <laughs> we do just, just fine. We pull the same numbers. Via the VOD. Oh, like, that hurt. I don't know how that many hurt. notifications go out to non-members. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm trying to grow. <laughs> yeah, like, the thing is, we pull the same numbers as some guy that devastated his career and we're just starting. That doesn't... So, uh, yeah, like, true. Okay, okay. I see where you're going with this. I'm like, you're not voting well. You're not You're not enforcing that. <laughs> you know the stream, but... Hey. Okay. Uh, I guess it is what it is. Do... Should I tweet it out? God, I feel like his volume is so soft. I'm gonna. Have I do got one like. That it. just mean they have to be paid. Hopefully to that's in. a bit so better for you guys on in. stream. Dude, I don't even know how many views is the stream gonna get. Like fucking two, one. Well, it shows that someone's here. Yo, Maddie, what is up? Hello. Um, you know, ideally I would do a public stream, but there are um, <clears throat> uh, there is some controversy around Bo Blacks at the moment. So, members only it is. He's kind of got a bet. He's kind of got a Brad you know, taste man, look man, 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 a bit to him right now. Uh, I feel like. I was just waiting for him to be like, there's a little controversy around Bo Blacks. Good thing that um, Josh is here tonight. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> full of deaf noodles where it's like, funny, that was a character. And now, haha. Like... Yeah. <laughs> I want Connor to do well because. Um... You know, a lot of what he does is very similar to Twitter versus. Well, I don't know if all his videos, because some of the videos are kind of like commentary based. He has these like gameplays, but isn't there one that had like a million views that was basically Twitter versus, or almost a million? There's there's a lot of Twitter versus right now, but well, actually, yeah, it's funny you go. should mention that. So, it's good that he's doing well despite him not wanting me to do well. You know what I'm saying? Been playing Pikmin, awesome, dude. I'm glad you've been playing Pikmin. Hey, you're only oh fuck, I changed my thing to I changed my fucking I need to like. Oh, fuck. This keeps coming up, dude. Ever, ever since I worked on that Lorex bully stream thing, that kept coming up. I haven't watched anything on me. I usually, uh... I've been going on YouTube through Bobor, which is only sub to H3 and gaming channels. So, wow. yeah. Um... <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> wow. I this this is a can. fiery start to a stream. This is, this is screaming such... I'm prepared to come back. What do you think? Also, such a killer, killer, uh... Sub feed, gaming channels and H three. <laughs> Boy, I bet you're rolling around in that diverse content. Yep, yep. Ooh. I also find it ironic that's like, yeah, oh yeah, totally. I'm glad you're playing Pikmin. It's one of my favorite games. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I too love a game where I go into a foreign planet and then enslave its people. <laughs> like, like, yeah, totally, yeah. I didn't even That's think about that thing. shit. That's my favorite thing to do is enslave native peoples, Boblox. I'm glad we can share that together. <laughs> what is H3 talking about now? Doubt. Sometimes I just like pop in because I like seeing my plush there. Um, okay. Yeah. Wait. First Wait. off, so he's popping in and out of Ethan Klein, the H3 podcast stuff because he likes seeing his plushie, right? So this yeah, is going to segue. Say into something that, here 
That is the typical narcissistic YouTuber right there. I am proud of you, Boblog. I only watch this guy because he has a stuffed version of me. Uh, also, since this is members only, we probably only have Maddie in chat. I will say, there, there's gonna be a round two of the Bobby plushies. There's gonna be a round two, Jim. Are you excited? Because they sold like hot potatoes. Remember that? Remember that? There wasn't like any shilling or begging a large streamer with a fairly decent money stream to buy up a lot of the plushies at the end because he wasn't going to meet the goal. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Keemstar can save you now. Yeah, I don't think Keemstar will save you now. I mean, that that's a, that's a give me. Maybe H3 will actually come through on this one. The, the question is, do we buy one? <laughs> <laughs> do we film? Do we film a bit like Salvo, where we stab it and be like, "I hate Sonic, Josh." <laughs> like, like, do we do the bit? Do we do that? Or... I, I I would think of a way to escalate that bit, but um, that would probably be a good one for Gumroad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple has... thoughts that have come to mind. One involves mayonnaise. Oh, you're going to fuck it. No, 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 after all of the time, <laughs> this is making me feel uncomfortable <laughs> about mayonnaise last and plushies. Three... Okay, the last three weeks, <laughs> for an example, you've blown up my state, you've given my state a nuclear bomb, you've made me a pedophile, you've made me have cancer. Now you get the fuck a plushie. <laughs> I still don't think we're even, but we're getting close. <laughs> like... There was mayonnaise involved. Don't forget that point. And I think we're even. <laughs> <laughs> You're and involving cheddar cheese. Now I'll, I'll do a good one for you. It's an inanimate object in a condiment. Okay, let's call it call it a draw. <laughs> It was a big plan for my return, <clears throat> but, um, you know, stuff kind of got moved around or whatever, but that's still happening. Um, uh, new copyright matches? Dude, am I high enough to strike? Am I high enough to strike? You know, it's kind of almost like, you know, him striking content may have led to a bad decision at some point previously in his life. I, I can't quite put a finger on it, but I kind of feel like there was a point where, like, he identified, um, as a as an archive channel and then struck a video that was archiving his content. That might have been it, but, you know, Jim, correct me if I'm wrong on that. You know, I, I think when you're in controversy, you should avoid jokes that reference your controversies. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think, like, you know the Streisand effect? That doesn't mean that you also partake in it for yourself. Yes. Like, the yeah. best thing to do would be to let it die. Not be like, hey guys, remember the time I fucked up and I fucking struck a channel? Yeah. Like, oh my god. Should we do that again? Like, no, yeah. you should You should log off the damn internet. You should and, not be and... here. You should not be in this chair. You should not be on this computer. You should be not be on the internet. And you definitely probably should not be live streaming. Right? Go get a tub of mayonnaise and a hot dog <laughs> and go eat. <laughs> Wait, dude, where are my matches at, bro? Need one? Yes, you will get one. Although this one, it's gonna be different. It's gonna have blue, a blue jacket, and a uh, uh, it, okay. Basically, what I asked them to do, and I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Let's see, Boba Community, which is what I have been doing on May Monkey, into kind of just like a comedic outlook to, or outlet, outlet, comedic outlet to just laugh at some dumb shit. But people take the shit way, that shit way too seriously. So I think, um, you know, to the point where now everyone thinks I'm a big old liar or whatever. So you kind of picking up what he's done there. So in very rapid succession, he changes a bit <clears throat> his opinion three times right there. Like he He's cannot tipster. even have an agreeing conversation on his own. He's tipstered. He's like, well, this, well, that, well, okay. Here's my actual point. Yeah, he's he went full tipster. Yeah. Like you know, like I am so done with that community, guys. Yeah. Like... Oh yeah, doing that too. 
or so. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're just going to do main channel and bubble board for now. And uh, I'm going to focus more on different topics. Although, I, uh, damn. Does he not have the awareness? Can, like, okay, for anybody who can't read the fucking tweet on screen, it says, success, turned 18 today. <laughs> he has no awareness about him. Oh, man. No awareness about him. It's so amazing, isn't it? Like... Like, and so this tweet was just up, and now he's clicked on it, and he likes and retweets it. Mm, all right. How many, can we see how many people are watching? Three? God damn. Dude, five? Dude, how many are recording for Tommy C or uh, Nick or <laughs> Augie or what have you? Is Augie even, like, back fully? So he's he's automatically going to how many are recording for Tommy C, Nick or Augie. Like, obviously, like, this many people don't even care about me. Like, y'all are just here to A-log me. Like, he's already kind of hostile with his chat, and it's been eight minutes. Nice. I guess he is. Brilliant. I wonder if he's going to do more streams. Locking's kind of harsh. I'll just keep him muted. But is he going to do more streams? Seven days ago. We'll see. If he, if Augie, I, I will say Augie's back if he uploads again this year. If he doesn't upload again this year or stream again this year, then this was a one-time thing. Uh, I hope he's back. That's shorts. Jeez. But yeah, I mean, entertainment-wise, I still like them as entertainers. I just feel like... <clears throat> he just didn't like being the center of content. Them and it uh, kind of resulted in people thinking I was lying when I was just really bad at kind of uh, detailing what went on. I mean, if they. He just pulled a Jessica Bizzle. He was just really bad at explaining things. I don't know if I buy that because he's been good so far. I don't know if I'm buying it now. <laughs> he had a camera. Like, if I had a fucking camera going off that they could see the entire time of my life, they'd understand what I'm trying to explain. But, you know, I don't really blame them. Well. I don't know. I feel like I should have had more. Tr they should have had more trust or benefit of the doubt in me, but honestly, I can't. So he does blame them. He just knows that colloquially or whatever you want to say. I don't even know if I'm using the right word here. I don't give a fuck. Um, that like overall, he feels like he he doesn't blame them, but they should have understood him better. So he does blame. Them. It's just he's gonna continue to do this the entire time. He is not gonna have one solid fucking point to himself um i can't complain too much um uh, my dream is to have a plushie with a voice box well stop laughing at sonic dude yeah I, I wish i could do that with the makeshift plushes they're kind of limited though eventually i kind of do want to strike out on my own and make like the plushes outside of makeshift maybe but i wouldn't know how to go about doing that and obviously i would need higher numbers on my main my main's kind of been suffering view wise um you know i kind of tested out the waters with my comeback of the two different types of videos i make original twitter verses and kind of the long form uh drama stuff um Man, I guess a lot of my subscriber base is, well, it makes sense. It's, like, from Augie as well. It's, like, my initial subscriber base. So, what's annoying about this vid is that everybody was ta everybody's talking about, um, you know, my drama or whatever. But nobody's talking about, like, the I'm Alex drama. And I think that I'm, I'm, like, so curious what people think about the I'm Alex drama. Like, in high... Correct. Most of these other assumptions are not correct, but whatever. And then another part is, like, people thought... And Keemstar said this. People thought I was manipulating. I think particularly when I was kind of, like having trouble remembering what Lorex said, but that's because there's just so much going through my head. Like, I just, I legitimately just needed it repeated the exact same thing because I had the answer in my head. I just needed the repeat, right? Uh, can you repeat that? I'm so Yeah, sorry. here, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's but see. then I went on to say, even though I know you're coming. Let's go. Um, okay. I guess. <laughs> but, uh, so after you recorded this for your safety and then you went to rewatch it, what was the content in the call you felt that was, um, I guess, bad or mean to you? Uh, yeah. So, like, now we're off on the whole tangent of the lyrics thing, and he's trying to rationalize how he responded to lyrics when lyrics is in there. I think he actually does, like, articulate fairly well his point here. So, like, what he says here, like, if you had kind of known and understand his thought process then, it would have made more sense. The part where it, it, the, my main issue was that you were saying I give too much, like, fluff and explanation. And then uh, you still thought I was a manipulative liar, but I was like, but I'm giving that explanation to say that I'm not, and you still believe I am, therefore the explanation would be needed. And okay, so I was telling you, so what I was doing is... Right here, so we're gonna, we need to hear everything Lyric says, he's gonna interrupt it and then play it back a little bit, and then give his thought process, because like, this is why he sounded so disjointed maybe in this spot. And he's going to explain things well. And it kind of gives you a little bit of insight on Bo Black's brain and how how poorly it functions. 
this at the time. I'm not saying this to morally flag, but I was trying to tell you behind the scenes, like, hey, man, I understand that you want to come across this way and you want to over explain all of your actions because you want to make people know that you're not actually coming to situations with malice. So I understood that and I tried to explain that to you. But then I went on to say, even though I know you're coming from it from that perspective, the way it comes across to other people is that it looks like just straight excuses, dude. And all this fluff, 3 a.m., bad place because yeah. I made the Destiny tweet, that comes across as excuses. Yes. So do you still and think then, those are contradicting things? Do you not understand what I'm saying when I say that? Um, losing my clock. I lost. Okay, this is what happened. I know what happened. Right here. Happened. I had a point to make, like halfway through his sentence, but then he made like he 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 ended his whole spiel with another question, and that question threw me off because I was trying to. I, I was about to answer the previous thing. What I want to answer. I yeah. made a destiny tweet that comes across as excuses. Yes. So. Do you still and think those are contradicting things? What I was doing is, at the time, I'm not saying this to morally flag, but I was trying to tell you behind the scenes, like, hey, man, I understand that you want to come across this way and you want to over explain all of your actions because you want to make people know that you're not actually coming to situations with malice. So I understood that and I tried to yes. explain that to you. But then I went on to say, even though I know you're coming from it from that perspective, the way it comes across to other people is that it looks like just straight. Okay, here's. So that's where Bo Black stopped the listening, like actively listening. And so he's now formulating a response to that in his brain so he's not really listening to anything else lyrics is saying this is what the thing is he said i know you're trying to explain but what it comes across to other people is that you're making excuses but then he said he thinks i'm making excuses so he is saying other people but he really means his own opinion as well and i'm like well if you know the explanation you can not like agree with it and i'm fine with that but to say that like you think i shouldn't be making an explanation when you yourself initially didn't understand it's like then the explanation is needed you just don't like it but it is needed if you're going to have that initial confusion, right? That's what I was trying to say. That's what I wanted to say. But then he, like, tr tried to, like, bring up, like, that you don't see how that's contradictory. And it's, like, we kind of have both of our own, like, thought process of how we want this conversation to continue and, like, flow into the, like, flow into each other or whatever. Uh, and I'm trying to, t like, he's trying to take it a certain direction before I have the chance to, you know, answer what he initially said, so. Excuses. It, it was just, like, a bunch of that. And then, like, I'm like, oh, I forgot or whatever. Because it's, like, dude, that was after, like, yeah, so... That's why I kind of didn't understand, but Keemstar... Again, just listening to him speak here, you can hear just how fucking disjointed his thought processes are, even now. And to think that, like, <clears throat> potentially right now, he's in a better spot mentally, according to his own gauge, than he was then, a week ago. And then, compared to, like, when the whole King of Nothing Nick Diorio thing happened, compared to all the fucking spazoid shit that we saw before that because you got to keep everything in the timeline even though that nick video with all the dms just dropped all that took place months ago remember so we're saying it was to be manipulative uh, did and also my biggest problem with this whole thing and i'll say this and then we can move on to whatever because the chat's not even talking about it i'm just rambling but um my main core thing of this right uh and i might need to see like more footage and more points of view and maybe i'll come to a different conclusion but uh when i told nick in call that it might not be ppd after i previously told him it was 99 percent implying that there was a chance that it could not be ppd right um and i wasn't 100 sure because i said 99 percent. maybe i should say 90. see what i mean uh, so going back to the whole like so bo black says 99 percent sure because he felt like leaving that one percent off meant that he could still have an out that it was the same as being like well we're looking into it or any other you know comparison terms of like we're doing this but and realistically honestly he doesn't see that like 99 sure to most people reads is like pretty fucking certain damn near 100 percent. and like even at this point now you're gonna hear him go back and forth like he doesn't even know what a good number is to gauge so it just shows like he doesn't have the mental wherewithal to even gauge what a good percentage is to get an articulation of his point across to normal people. Uh, I, I came to Connor aggressively with the pitch uh, for the for the Lyrex, potential Lyrex stream or whatever, but I wasn't talking about the stream at that point. I was, I'm was i pretty sure I was just talking about the call itself. Well, I, maybe I was talking about a stream. What was the timeline of that again? It was the call, DMing Connor, thinking about making content about it, waiting the next day, reviewing the call, deciding to for sure make content about it in the future. Yeah, I have a whole uh, timeline, actually. Why are you still trying to fight? Dude, I don't even... And this is where he starts getting one guy by chat. No, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's up, Sonic Show? I don't know, dude. This is the guy that gets him. This is people like like Sonic Show disappointed with me in DMs, I feel like. I don't know. Like, the commentary AIDS community was like, I don't know. I need to let it go. But who cares about the timeline? I'll just finish reading this. I, I'm legitimately not trying to lie. Um, 
probably, uh, most think this would probably be a harmless stream over nothing serious, but once... I don't even know where the severity is coming in, though. Like, where is the severity? You can clearly tell he was pretty hurt how it went down. Well, I didn't rewatch the streams, so I don't know. Thinking it'd be a quick makeup for a few friends. Maybe a bit of dunking on you and dunking on each other. I just tried to be as open and honest as possible, but I guess it didn't. I'm not disappointed, but I do think your response was weak. I still think a public on main. Um, the, the, the Lorex bully stream response was, I, I chalked that up to more of like a disconnect between what people were expecting and what I was trying to show. To me, the feud was still between me and uh, Lorex, but apparently Nick jumped in and said some things. I knew he said some things, but that kind of became the new focus. So my response was focused on Lorex when it should have been. I guess people were expecting something else. I'm not sure. So this goes to the whole thing that, like, he wasn't even aware enough to, like, realize that. And, and he's still not explaining anything. Why even there was a worthwhile feud with lyrics. Like, that's that's one thing that, like, I feel like has been consistently missed in all this. And, and it has been brought up, you know, a lot by chat and everything, too. Why was there even a feud with lyrics? Like... Yes, Lorex just jumped in and decided to dunk on you, but he is nobody in the grand scheme of things when you're friends with people like Diorio and Augie and all this. Like, he shouldn't have even been, like, warranting you responding directly to him. Yeah, you should have just been able to blow him off. Yeah, like, your your whole problem started with Diorio and what he said. Like... And and that's where everything stems from. And I feel like if you were so blind to that, you obviously cannot see the problem here and you shouldn't have been responding to anybody. And yeah. obviously a lot of it's easier to say in hindsight, but like, again, this is also somebody that's been involved in this community for a prolonged period of time. I, I feel right. like with that, he should have some wherewithal and some sense about him on like prioritizations and stuff. But yeah, like on the like September 11th was 14 years that he's been doing this. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like he's a year one channel like making some mistake. He is he's fucking a decade and a half into this making he's a mistake. He's a veteran at this point. Yeah, making a mistake that otherwise like for me to make probably would be excusable because like I'm inexperienced with all that. He isn't. He's actually actively criticized people for not taking the same steps that he should have taken here. Um, I think a break. Yeah, I am. I mean, this isn't really a break. This member's stream. I don't know, dude. I was taking a break, but then I saw the commentary aids upload. That's what happens, dude. I am taking a break, but then like a little thing, like I probably shouldn't even do the stream. Anyway, let me finish reading this comment. I don't know, Augie. I don't know, Nick. I don't know you. Nobody in the comments here does. But this messy breakup. Uh, what's meant? Okay. Well, of of once close collection of best friends is hard to understand the situation fully. Well, what, what, what really, well, the, part of, like, the friendship thing is we all kind of stayed friendly, but after Augie left RFC, he left the internet and didn't talk to me at all until Christmas to say Merry Christmas and then maybe a couple other conversations throughout the year. Nick has gone on to kind of focus on a different aspect of the internet in terms of a community or whatever. We haven't really been fighting it in a year, but uh, I, I could have gone in everything wrong about you and Augie and any of the others, been reality, any serious break for a day or two, hash things out with them private. I'm not hashing things out. Unless they want to reach out. I'll hash things out if they reach out. I'm not reaching out. No recordings, no screenshots. Dude, the thing is, I tried to personal... T I tried to talk with Nick on stream, and he's just... It just didn't work. I think this entire situation has taken a toll on everybody. I suppose. And the last thing uh, that should happen is for it to... It was that I suppose right there, where it's like... I don't know whether he's... He's meaning that, like... I suppose is in, like... Yeah, I, I'm feeling it worse than them for sure. Or I suppose is in, like... It's not taking a fucking toll on me at all. And with his tone so fucking flippant as it is, like, second to second here, I don't think you honestly can take it either fucking way and, like, commit to it because he can't even commit to anything. This man is not committed to anything in the, the 30 seconds of stream time that we've been watching. Yeah. Continue. Other than to say the vote wax plus she's coming back. That's the most committed thing that he said so far in 30 minutes. We're a third of the way through. His entire time, or sorry, a quarter of the way through his entire time. No, a third. And, like, he hasn't even committed to that. He, has, he hasn't committed to anything. He, he said the Bo Black's plush is coming out, and he, he can't even, like, firm committal to the design of that, even, totally, when we saw it. It's, it's astounding. It, it speaks volumes to his mental state. Well, I don't agree. It with really does. Taking this entire situation act as a show. I wish absolute best for you. I appreciate that. Um... Sincerely, as someone who's watched content, I've watched you more than Augie and... Ooh, okay, so, see? 
if they're a Bobby fan. See, this one, I'm, I don't know. I, like, I want to move on, but the fact that, like... See, like, he was all about dismissing parts of this and everything else until he found out that, oh, this is a fan of mine. So now he's taking their their wording differently and he's going to hold it in a totally different regard just because they're a fan of his and not a fan of everybody's even yeah. like he he's just so i mean fucking devoured nailed it like he's got fucking holes in his fucking brain some hardcore bobby fans have the wrong yeah i hate to say it too bo blacks but this is the lesson you're gonna have to learn here it sucks that your friends you know you guys don't do shit together anymore but that's life well, yeah, and these you... guys are going from the young adult stage, like, 20, early 20s, to now getting close to your 30s. Everybody's priorities are changing. Yeah, like, I'm not, I don't have the same friends I did out of high school. I don't... I don't even have know, the it's... same friends that I had 10 years ago. Like... Yeah, it sucks, but that's... Why do you think, like, you know, slice of life anime and, like, coming of age stories matter so much to people this is why because everybody grows people grow apart like yeah that's just life man like and it sucks that like it happening but it's he's almost having like it almost seems like a midlife crisis in his 20s like he's not ready to grow up yet when everyone else around him is yeah yeah and i think you know that's there's actually a broader part of that going on here because, like I said, you kind of got different stages of it showing. Like, Augie walked away from everything. He's, he went and worked on his personal finances. He's financially secure, from what I understand, done really well, and got a business going for himself and everything else. Nick, Nick's come back to streaming. He's doing full-time work, but he's now streaming as a hobby. His hobby is supporting his yeah. other hobbies and everything else, and, like, He's only in it for the money, and he's very clearly made that point. And then Bo Blacks is wanting the friends in the hangout portion still. Yeah, he's still the idealistic YouTuber from a decade ago when, you know, Augie and Nick, they're sort of like, you know, I they're building their lives, their futures. And Bo Blacks is like the guy that's like still stuck trying to have that like, you know, memory of like, remember when we were kids and they're like, yeah, no, that was kind of cool. Yeah. That was great. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I, I it's so it, it's disheartening because like now you're seeing his facial expressions with the voice, you can line up everything and it's just, you realize how like fucked up this guy is. I, I'm going to be honest. Like, this really hit home, or not hit home, but, like, kind of really drove a nail into the message for me that, like, no, this guy's a lot more fucked up, and he's not, like, this mischievous, um, not mischievous, uh, malicious liar that he's being painted out to be. I, I think he's just genuinely mentally broken. Yeah, and I think he misses his friends, and yeah, and that it, was it's like a grieving one, process. Yeah, that was like one thing in his life, and now it's now something else that's also gone. Because I mean, you could you could chalk it up to that way. It's like now he's facing his career is gone, his his gender identity by his own hands or not has been put out there. So his security there is gone. His security with the friend group is gone. His security with his community is gone. Like, he's, this guy's literally lost everything, and, like, you're just seeing the fallout effects of it. Days later, he never told me it was an issue. If he told me it was an issue, like, I don't know. I wasn't trying to, I was just, I'm still trying, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with me. And I'm not always going to have the right answer right away, but I can spec, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just upsetting, because I, I was trying to talk to him as a friend, but he felt like I was talking to him as a YouTuber, that's a thing. And, like, if my DM conversation with Nick was never meant to be public, then I felt like I felt like I was dealing on this with the situation on a friend on friend level. There was no public knowledge of any stuff, so I didn't feel like I needed to talk to him like a YouTuber or like an audience will potentially see our DMs. I just felt like, you know, I wanted to uh I don't know, I just really uh I felt like guilty for how I treated Nick, so I wanted to give him updates on my mental health in order to give him peace of mind. So that's why I kinda messaged him a lot specifically. But Right there is, by the way, the most accountability that he takes in this whole stream. I felt guilty. Like, that that's honestly the closest we're going to see to accountability in this. Like, you're not going to get any more than that. I think I should have just kept more of a distance. Um, 
even if you don't have a firm diagnosis, doesn't mean doesn't mean you aren't allowed to have a mental episode. No, it's <laughs> it's definitely mania. To an ex well, it's not diagnosed. You can't. The doctors would have to check me out, but pretty much, I mean, I expected to have a manic episode at some point in my life. I just didn't think it'd be now. But it makes sense with all the pressure on me, financially, family. -wise. There's like a bunch of different pressures going on. The inter like a lot of stuff is leaked on the internet. But it's only like probably 25% of what I'm dealing with. Maybe 50 at this point, honestly, because I know some stuff leaked about my gender. Uh, which was, again, my fault. I was being a little too impulsive with a tweet. I'm always very reactive and impulsive, but, uh, and I can get into detail with that later, but I just don't think it's a good time to, uh, to elaborate on that. Maybe in June or some other time, but, and, uh, I mean, I also want to, I also want to establish a fan base that's a little less transphobic. So did you hear that? And, like, those two things that are kind of key, they keyed into me, like, really interesting right there. So he says that, I, I don't know. I'll talk about it in June or something. It's almost October. June is eight months away. I was going to say, like, oh, he means, like, of next year? Like, yes. Like, that why? Just, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, I don't know why June sticks out. Like, I would have, any. I feel like, again, you know, any other normal person would have just said, once all this stuff blows over, maybe we'll talk about it. Like, again, a normal response there. Not like pick random month in the future that now, guess what? If you aren't responding to it around then, certain people might come around holding you to it. That's another thing. Like, and just the, the randomness of like, why June? And he never gives any reasoning for it. Like, what's the significance of June? Pride month is the only thing I could come to. And it kind of segues into that because the next thing he talks about is I want a community that's less transphobic. I think Bobax is working towards coming out as trans. Like, genuinely. Oh my god. I'm not because, kidding. You know, he, he did have that tw uh, Twitter. It's like, the internet makes you do one thing, become racist or become trans. Yep. And I think he is not going to become racist. He's going to have <laughs> Sonic Jane. Yeah. Christ. But no, like, it, it, so like, think about it in all of the terms now. Like, now if you take his illogical, irrational, scatterbrain shit that we've just listened to for the, what, the past 40 minutes of his stream, right? Now take yeah. it and apply it logically. I don't want to associate with Kiwi Farms. I don't want a transphobic base. I'll talk about my gender stuff in June, Pride Month. Yeah, no, it makes sense, especially with, um... that other, like, that, like I said, that tweet that I mentioned, and, like, yeah, and you could even say oh. that that was satirical and totally wash that off, but, like, if you take the underlying fucking things with this, that's what makes sense here. Like, you really have to read between the lines, but you're not even reading between the lines that much. You're literally just taking the key points of stuff. Yeah, and, um, what was that one thing that he said? Oh, yeah, like, the conversation with Nick about having a fun conversation about gender you think he was prepping his friends behind the scene for it? Yes. Yes. Now when you look at it that way, yes. I think something happened. Okay? I'm going to go out on a big limb here. This is not an accusation. This is me taking the context of the total situation into this. Okay? Beyond anything anybody's ever talked about. Beyond anything anybody's mentioned so far. Josh had a gay experience in June. And he realizes that he likes men. And that kind of has led into a gender identity crisis, which has led into this manic spiral, which culminated, I would say, sometime between June and the beginning of July. And then it came to a crescendo with other shit going on. And he has this manic spiral. And now everything is kind of coming to a head. And he's going to transition. And that transition is going to take place over the next nine months or so, which would be enough for him to look totally drastically different if you've ever seen anything about transitioning. And yeah. come June, he's going to come out as trans and probably have been on HRT for the past nine or ten months, which also explains a lot of him talking about the gender dysphoria and everything with his friends. Let's talk about fun talks about gender and everything else. I think... Gender euphoria, too. I think the whole situation that he's alluded to, that something else, it wasn't a tweet, it wasn't this, it wasn't that, 
something set this off. It was actually, it happened at the end of June, beginning of July, which if you really pay attention, you go back to whenever he was talking about stuff, I think it was on Chud Logics. He talks about that time frame specifically. I think he had a, he had either a trans or gay, um, at very least sexual interaction at most relationship. Yeah. Is there anything that happens around then? Uh, Twitch. Or uh, what the VidCon? Yeah, I almost said TwitchCon, but I I was on the right track there. I'm but yeah, another good point. Think that maybe he hooked up with like a one of those like trans YouTubers or something. Could be. Who knows? Maybe he hooked up with Mango. I hope not. Oh. I hope not. Oh yeah, maybe Femias. He debated <laughs> Black's booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but no like now that like i stretch this out and i show it in this light what do you think yeah no in certain little harkens back to some of the other things like fun little conversation about gender well no that sounds exactly like what you know some people give uh as social clues not just that, but also criticism towards, like, certain parts of the trans community where they're, like, throwing their gender out there in everyone's face all the time. Oh, yeah, you can go that like, route, too. Know, yeah, yeah, I see You know what I mean? mean? That's, like, the stereotypical social media, like, trans person, right? Like, and not, not to say that, like, every every person is like that, but when you think about, like, influencers like that... Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, it makes it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So like all the all the stuff that people are saying in chat is right. I don't think they've drawn the line through and through, though. I think that there's enough breadcrumbs here to make a whole fucking slice by the time you're done. Uh, I think you're a male monkey like you guys in chat and stuff who've been watching a lot of me. I think uh my close fan base is chill, but <sighs> I've seen a lot of troon and stuff like I don't know, dude. I just need to Another another thing. I don't yeah, want to let, let depressed Chris Chan sigh. Talk about different things. You know, I've been doing hardcore drama, like, in the depth in the weeds for five years. Let me just talk about Mr. Beast and call it a day at this point, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, yeah, one of my sisters is non-binary. But I, oh, uh, yeah. But it was, uh, she, she also uh, told me to use it as a cover. But it is true. She also told me to use it as a cover. That was, like sticking out to me like a huge red flag because who comes out as non-binary as a cover what would you be covering for a, a transition yeah yeah why do you think i have long hair nick yeah it's true so both are true an episode is fine and that's a that's another thing too that he said there and like i've not been able to apply it unless you take into again the context of the whole he is transitioning both are true it's a cover, and my sister is also non-binary. I think that was a slip. I don't think he probably meant to say that out loud. Freudian slip. Yeah, I am responsible for my actions, one hundred percent. And you know, even with like the freak out on on Nick, I don't know how much of it showed, but obviously there's like grains of truth of how I feel in in that thing. Like I, I was very tired of Nick bringing up destiny like all the fucking time. Every time we call, he's like, oh. There's grains of truth in all of that. So why would I not also then correlate and assume that there isn't grains of truth in everything that I've heard and giving me the link that I'm giving now? Like I said, it's all just a thought conspiracy and everything else, but no. Bowlax 100% is going to come out as trans next June. He is transitioning. He is going to use the non-binary thing as cover by directed by his sister. And... At some point, he's going to make the move and sit there and say, oh, I've been through therapy and everything else, and we've decided that it's probably best if I do this. And he's already going to have a hard, uh, far head start on it. Yeah. If he's not even taking shit right now. you, I mean, genuinely, you wouldn't know for sure. Yeah, maybe that was a hospital visit. Could be. And then everything going on emotionally, hmm. Wouldn't look that weird if it was hormonal and he's having yeah. like changes in his mood because his hormone system is changing now. Yeah. No, they say that happens a lot during that. My issue has always been with Nick's obsession and fascination with destiny. 
I don't want to fucking hear about him every day, dude. Like, I'm, I'm fine. Like, Nick can get obsessed with Bath, Bath of Ross, Medicare, a bunch of other stuff, whatever. Fortnite, pinball, whatever. He can rant about all that to me on, on call or whatever. Even Destiny occasionally. But it's just very frustrating to see him have this immense respect for Destiny. Yet, me, he'll never give benefit of the doubt. Like, Destiny, he'll fucking, like, say it's awesome that, like, a Trump, like, someone died in the Trump rally. And Nick, like, goes out of his way to defend that. I tell, like, four people in private I have BPD. And, well, three people and then 199% Nick, I said. Or whatever four people essentially and that's like and then i say like it might not be the case and that's friendship ending but that is or like even something as simple as like tom cheating like yeah i don't think nick should drop him over that or whatever but like why drop me over to vpd thing but not he's very 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 envious of tom very fucking very fucking envious of tom <laughs> Thank you for thinking that, Devoured. I appreciate it. <laughs> Why are you thinking that, you know that envious of Tom? But yeah, wait till you see what he says. <laughs> this was like the light touch. Remember, this is a guy that's also been very aware in this conversation, stated three or four times up to this point, I know things will get clipped, right? So keep that also in the back of your mind. And you got the trans stuff, and now you got... Keep that in the back of your mind. I know things are going to be clipped, so I think he's saying things here, knowing it'll get back out, right? So I think this was a small snippet of, like, yeah, he is envious of Tom because Nick stuck up for Tom. Nick didn't stick up for him. That's the envy I'm seeing here. And just to, just to actually drive the envy home... What he says in a little bit is what really is the knife in the neck for that. And like, I just feel like there's double standards, but can't sit here and justify what you did. You tanked your whole career. Don't bitch about fr what? Uh, uh, what if he said I fucked up? I wasn't entirely honest. I haven't been right in the past few months. Yeah, I guess I've said everything except for the middle part because I'm not. I'm honestly not. I'm, tr I'm trying not to be dishonest. Maybe I am unintentionally. Fuck. Whatever. I guess I agree with that. You guys can disagree. I'm fine with you disagreeing in chat. Um, I just don't like... Don't be a bitch. I just... Oh, don't bitch. I don't think it was a schizo rant, but... I know what's coming up the here. The co-critique... Dude, the co-critique... Here we so go. Dumb. Dude. Here we go. Oh, buddy. All right, chat. Buckle up for this shit. This is where it's going to get interesting. So, he had that little little jab. You could call it even... I don't even know if you want to call it a jab. The little, like, insecurity that showed through about him being envious of Nick sticking up for Tom and Tom getting the support from Nick when he didn't, right? Mr. Toad's going to go on a wild ride right here. We're going to drop down to normal. So he's weighing out what he wants to say here. Dude, what do I want to say about the drugs and the coke? If I say coke? anything, it'll cause drama. Is the coke thing a real critique or a joke? Because I can elaborate. Because uh, I don't want to like out anyone or cause any issues but fake bpd right see i just don't get this aggression towards me i just don't i legitimately don't understand soul, soul skibbity i don't understand like what i don't know i'm trying to put my best foot forward but i guess it's not working um there we go come on talk about it buddy spill the beans is the coke thing a meme it was just to embarrass you? Okay, I had one line of coke. Everybody else there had, like, multiple lines and Molly. I could list off the people there. So there was multiple people there. Obviously, we, we know this was, like, a Twitch or a VidCon party. Because we've already heard about Dick Masterson. And they're doing multiple lines of coke and drop Molly and everything else. <laughs> one of them's obviously Turkey Tom. I mean, he was on the podcast, right? He, of all the people that he could list off, he drops Tom's name. And again, he prefaces it before this, knowing that I don't want to start drama. I know things are going to get clipped uh, and all this. And like, it's already been outed by him that Dax was doing coke. So is he going to protect Dax? Somebody who would easily be one to out as not being friendly towards, and I'm going to be conspiratorial here. Friendly towards trans people. No, he outs Tom, someone who's also not going to be friendly towards trans people, but who also garnered the the love of somebody that has recently ruined his career. I think that was a deliberate fucking stab. What are your thoughts, Jim? Did your mic Damn it. My beeping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you think it was. 
Yes, 100%. Easier answer here would have been, say, same person you said the first time. Your mic really oh. is not liking you. Huh. No, I'm I'm actually just, I'm, I'm like... Pondering it? Oh. Yeah, because I'm, like, taking, like, the entire scope of, like, all the interactions now he's had, like, across social media now. Like, I'm trying to, like, map it across the board. Do you want me to draw a nice little line for you on this one? Yeah. Tom started the post that sent him into the manic spiral with Nick. Yeah. So that was always an underlying thing. It was against, it was obviously against trans people. If he's going to be transitioning or coming out as trans, which again, I strongly believe I'm not condemning it, but I do strongly believe that there's more than enough evidence here to believe that that's where he's going with this. And I just genuinely think that that was a slight in Bobolax's book. Bobolax harbors grudges. He's not going to forget it. Hellishly harbors them. Yes, even by his own admission. He said that at the beginning of the stream. So, again, of, of people, and he's got a very strong memory of things. I think that's been proven like an actual, like, whether he's a reliable narrator or not, he does have a very good memory of things. Like, he was able to recall yeah. in line, in timeline succession how things happen with the lyrics call and fucking Connor once he sat there and thought about it for literally a second. So I doubt he's not able to recall the fact that he on live stream sat there and said Worski and then was like, actually, I meant um, Dick Masterson. And if Dick Masterson was one of the people there, it would have been easy to say that again, because again, also somebody doesn't like trans people already mentioned doesn't have to take it out on anybody else. I feel like it's a deliberate fucking mention here of Tom because he's he's got a he's got a slight from Tom. Yeah, and of course, yeah, and it makes just, sense. And then Riley is R- Riley, who is related to Dick Masters, and then that regard with the Transon family. Yep, and then and then with all of this, just before this, he also brings up Turkey Tom, and that's what I'm saying. I think he's envious of Turkey Tom. Whether whether Tom garners that ire or not is is up to whoever's opinion. But in his mind, he's envious of him because Nick stuck up for him, and that was another slight. Yeah, well, do you think it's envy then or just sheer, like, wrath? Vitriol, envy, I would put in the same thing. I think part of it's envy because he wanted Nick to stick up for him like he did for Tom after he saw how he stuck up for Tom. Yeah, and that he still has this really successful career after he bungled the pyro thing. Yep. Versus how he's screwed up his situation and now lost his career because commentary sort of rallied behind Tom and rebuilt him. Whereas yep. with Bo Blacks, they just sort of like mocked him and, haha, you're a weird little freak. And then, you know, Nick is out there like, if Augie comes back, it's just us boys. It's just the boys. Me, Tom, and Augie. Yep. And it's like, oh, you know, it's like, I kind of helped build that. Like, where, 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 where's my place? Like, Tom's also one of the people that Nick has spoken out before that in Bo Black's stream saying, yeah, he's probably one of the people I would go to bat for. And then shortly yeah. after did go to bat for with the cheating bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot. But again, when you take it into the Bo Black's brain, I feel like that's the line. No, I can I can see it now that you mention it and like just sort of like mapping it with their social dynamic. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, this it's just one of those things that like I feel like there's a lot here that people are missing, and it's just you gotta be able to take in Bo Black's brain and extrapolate it. Because everybody's like focusing on the individual things that he's saying right now. But if you take totalities of stuff with him, it adds up and makes more sense and has better correlation. It's like a fucking scatter point chart. Like you can have points all over the fucking place, but you can see a trend. Yeah. Uh, and then you can guess who else. I'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I did the least amount of drugs out of the one, two, three, four five six seven people including me that were there now there's a couple other things that are said there too what podcast is tom on that's the one with nick i forget what it's called Half-baked. yeah with him and vega yep and you know vega ain't gonna do that shit yeah so he's insinuating nick 
also did stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. Now you see how deep this burn goes. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, Tom's not any other on any other podcast, so it's either Vega was there doing stuff and he's accusing Vega, or he's accusing Nick. And it seems like a more logical thing to accuse Nick than Vega, who has nothing to do with any of this. Yeah. And Vega's also like, it, wasn't he the military one? Yeah. Yeah, so he's like, re he's really like bootlace straight, like, kind of guy, like, barely even interacts with this kind of stuff. So, like, what makes more sense here? Yeah, no, definitely with Nick. Yeah, this is a deep cut, a deep burn, and I don't think many people picked up on. I don't think anybody really picked up on. Or maybe oh, A. That's not good. No. I did the least amount of drugs. Um, so I did one line of coke and that's it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like... A... And now he's pulling an Aaron and Multe with, uh, I was the most virtuous drug user. Why, why I right. was chosen nice out of holding. that group to be the <laughs> one to be the, the pretend coke addict, I guess because of this controversy. But, I mean, I literally did the least amount of drugs, so... But like, who fucking gives a fuck? I'm not trying to expose anyone. It's just, it's just, I, I find that meme funny, especially if Tom were to make it, considering. Do what I mean? How more, much more malicious it looks as he's talking more. Yeah, yeah, he's like just sort of like, sort of almost putting like that subtle, like letting you get to it. Yep. And if you get to it, and you know, he can't say like, well, I didn't say it out loud. If it's you know not true. Or... Yeah, so it's it's going to be interesting to see if Turkey Tom comes across this stuff, which I'm sure he will. But uh, yeah, and so <laughs> yeah, he, he's just kind of the the attitude here too. Look at that big fucking shit eating grin, like laughing and everything else. Like, <laughs> fuck you, man, fuck you. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's like, it like, gives that fucking won. vibe. That sort of, like, goes back to that sort of, like, I'm invincible. Yep. It's just, I, I find that meme funny, especially if Tom were to make it, considering <laughs> that he was way more coked up than I was. Um, but, you know, whatever. These tipster fanboys and fangirls, too. I probably shouldn't have even said that. That's gonna get clipped. And then... Like, ooh, what else are they gonna leak about Tom? Ooh! And then they'll get really defensive. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything hear all of that yeah what else are they gonna leak about tom and then he'll get really defensive yeah there's a lot like now you're seeing it through how i saw this and like i'm, I'm giving you the fucking correlations even beforehand so it, it looks bad yeah anything else i'm not gonna fucking say anything else that's it i'm done dude people can figure out and expose shit on their own he wants him exposed. Yeah, he's subtly saying that. Isn't this bad? Like, am I making this shit up in my mind, or is this as bad as I think it looks? No, because that that line there, they can expose what as, as they will or whatever. That's sort of like saying, like, very blatantly what his intent is. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, he's doing everything short of saying, clip this section, send it to them, expose this fucker. Like... Just shy of actually saying those fucking words. Yeah. They don't need me. I ain't, I ain't gonna be petty like that. Um. None of this would have happened. I suppose, but I honestly didn't think that the people I told about my BPD would get leaked. It was Tommy C, Nicholas Diorio, Connor, and I think, and Augie. Yeah. Those are the four people I told. I think. Yeah, th yeah, those are the only four people I told. I'm pretty sure. I can double-check my DMs. I might have told Dojangles, but I don't remember. I don't think I did. I think, at a, yeah, I think it's just those four people. So it's like, yeah, I agree. Oh, and the non-binary, I only brought up to Nick and Connor, and I told Connor to tell Augie. Um, and then... Uh, the rest, the super personal shit, I guess I only told Nick. Nick, I told the most about shit. Because, I, again, I felt guilty. And I felt like he'd want updates as a friend. Uh, no one cares about ta you talking shit about King and Nothing. I know. Um, yeah. 
Also, another misconception people have is that I have an issue with people talking with Gleeman in general. I don't. It was more the fact that Lorex was so desperate to get content on me that he brought on Gleeman to say, like, extremely ableist shit. And when I mean ableist shit, because people, like, complain, like, oh, I don't want to hear the word ableism anymore, blah, blah, blah. We say retard. We say artistic all the time. Remember uh, the Edwin and Salvo shit where Salvo was saying, like, you are. Listen to all this like shit that like he just says here about like Queeman. You can see he's got some of the same vitriol that he has for fucking Turkey Tom for Queeman. It's just on a lighter like priority list for him. I feel yeah, like. it's almost like it's because he hates Queeman for like what he's said about him, but like he knows that Tom has the bigger fan base. Yes, yes, and I would think I think in the prioritization of shit right here with how he's doing things. He is trying to take a stab at Turkey Tom. He is taking a swipe, let's call it, at Queeman and a swipe at Lyrics at the same time. Because he said, oh, he's got to be so pathetic as to bring Queeman on for content. Or just like blah, 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 all this like super in depth, like trying to get to the like core uh, able shit. And Edwin was just sitting there, standing there. And everyone was mad at him, including me, for not sticking up. And Nick stuck up. And I appreciated him for that. That's the exact same thing Queeman was doing on that uh, stream. Except Lorex brought him in to say that type of shit instead of it coming out of nowhere from Salvo, you know. But whatever. I think if you do respond, you should apologize to Tipster publicly. Yeah, I mean, Tipster, half of my... <laughs> the latter half of my critiques... Well, yeah, most of the latter critiques are... They were, um, they were, uh, just for comedy and stuff. I don't really, I've already apologized to Tipster as much as I need to in private for what I need to, but. So yeah, Tipster, you can go fuck yourself. I still don't like the guy, so. Holy bo bless your coping. <laughs> I'm the better, I'm the better. You might be pan, but I am trans. Yes, so you will bow to me. <laughs> I will be the trans gap between everything. Not you. You I'm may have tits, link. but I will too eventually. <laughs> I am the missing link. I am the missing link. Oh god. Uh yes, the the advanced uh subspecies of human that's going to lead us into the to bridge the gap to the future is the trans autists taking over. Or whatever the fuck he has on his on his Twitter. Gender perfection. <laughs> so hard. You sat there in Lorex's chat. Of course, he's going to talk about you and people don't like you. Well, I'm just saying that's what I was upset at. I'm not saying that's about it. If, yeah, I mean, I over, I definitely said I overreacted in the Lorex situation, right? Didn't I say that a lot on After Hours? There's a part of me that's, that's like mentally constructing a headcanon that he's actually got a fucking estrogen vape pen. Oh my <laughs> god. He's just taking hits of estrogen. <laughs> he's he's bought the last remaining boxes of uh Bob Splaining's fucking pink pill juice and he's just fucking vaping the shit out of it. I just imagine it's like South Park, he's just eating Magicil. <laughs> I'm just saying the reason. I'm not saying that the reason's good. I'm just saying the reason. That's me trying to be open and honest. Like, people bring excuses. Like, That's a shitty excuse. Yeah, because it's the truth. If it was a good excuse, that would be a lie, you know? The good excuses would be lies. I, 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 I'm just, yeah. I'm not saying it was uh, It was good for me to do that or react that way, but. um, I don't get the, I literally don't. I literally don't. So the, the, like, like, see, you're acting like it's so simple, but like, I, this I, is him I proceeding to don't. get one guidance stream and like not explain stuff. Uh, I guess I have to watch more videos on me. Uh, I've only watched the commentary aids ones. Well, a little bit of this, and then I just checked the comment section of this. I didn't really rewatch it. Does new videos 36 minutes ago? Oh, I thought the situation was done. Fuck. So now he's finding out about the. The leaked DMs from Diorio. That, that theory, though, is, like, I, I was just laying here thinking about it, like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> over the years, too, like, it makes sense with how he's 
you know, staged his like content and his politics. Yes. Yes. Like the more you think about it, the more it makes sense. Like yeah, it, yeah. it's one of those things that sitting there. It tracks a lot more. Like like I said, you could take that scatter point, the trend of it. The whole trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's scary. Like it's right under our noses. <laughs> oh no. No. It's still ongoing. Fuck no. This is definitely gonna get clipped out. Fifty three minutes? God damn. All the leaked messages? What, really? All the leaked messages? That's kind of excessive. I guess he was really mad at that tweet I made about him, huh? Regretting that decision there, Josh? I'm not gonna watch <laughs> it. I've already talked about it enough. I've already I've already ranted for like what? people an mad hour. when you're being Probably a dick. Clip what? Right. Uh are you gonna make Twitter holy uh are you gonna make Twitter verses? Sitting there flogging a dead horse when instead of dwelling on drama you could yeah, I am. Yeah, I have Mr. Beast video in the works. I have stuff going on. Just because I'm streaming for an hour doesn't mean I don't have videos in the works. He sounded so certain and so committed there, you know? Like, I... Yeah, he stumbled <laughs> over himself. <laughs> yeah, I totally have projects going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, there wasn't an inflection at the end there of an upward, like, question like in the works? <laughs> oh i forgot we're we're on we can get out of this yeah. back to normal it's not personal it's just business see that's the problem with the that see that's the issue i want to get out of that business even though i did it to tipster but the thing is i was making like comedy out of it these people are like actually mad but whatever there is some hypocrisy there i mean i, I did a lot of the things they're doing to me right now so it's like whatever i don't really like i, I don't hold too much against them honestly potentially dude i said potentially potentially he doesn't hold too much against him. But, you know, if you do want to take that clip and go make an exposed video on Turkey Tom, please forward that link back to me. <laughs> right? Any brave people out there yes. that want to expose them? Yes. He totally drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. I could fucking shit my pants right now. Doesn't mean I'm going to. Holy shit. God, you guys have no gel. Ah, oh, man, I did not know it was this bad. I didn't know, like, speculating on what I had, like, to someone, in, to four close friends in private was going to be such a fucking issue. Like, this is what I'm annoyed about. Like, I didn't, like, I, yes, if I came out and made a main channel video, I'm gone because of BPD and officially announced and everything. Yes, this would make sense. Well, how is it a consistent lie? I, I think I might have BPD. How's that? Dude. I didn't know, I didn't fully apologize to Tipster. I, I apologize to Tipster for thinking that he was faking his support for LGBTQ because I think there's a distinct possibility that he's not. That's what I apologize specifically for. That's it. Uh, your content cow. You're right. You're right, Sonic Show. But yeah, I, 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 this tenash, tenash, I really don't get. Oh, dude. I guess I just talk with like different. I, I, like I talk with people all the time. Dude, I guess I don't know. I was treating Nick like an IRL friend instead of an online person. That's really what fucked up. That's that's a big. That was. He gets one guy hard it too, because it's like by chat. Apparently, like saying like diagnoses that you might have and speculating on it is like really bad. No, saying you're ninety nine percent sure is, is the language. bad part. It's just trying to figure a big public declaration to my fans. As long, like I don't, I don't really see it as a big issue. But I mean, honestly, for the rest of this, he really kind of just gets one guide. I just want to see. I thought there was something. Um, I think he reviews some of this stuff. Yeah, prove my friendship with Nicholas Diorio or something. Um, not saying you accused me of being manipulative. Though. Just saw the tweet and it reminded me of that. Uh, actually, I'm in a really good mood right now, and we are still friends. It's awesome, man. See, I was, like, hyped because I was like, oh, this is the issue I had with the Boo Boss, but we're past it. So I'm hyped. So I'm hyped. Yes. And then he's like, Lamau, I get what you mean. So he agreed. But then on stream, he had an issue with this tweet thread. So why didn't he just say, like, I disagree here? Or even later? Or, like, in another call or something? See, like, I... Well, see, Bo Blacks, he was 99% agreeing. Right. Maybe, did or, you, maybe no, if you gave me, him a spatula... Maybe, you know, maybe I should restate this. He was 99% disagreeing. See, the agreeing and the disagreeing have the same base. <laughs> right? See, the issue is that Nick, in order, he needed a spoon. Right? <laughs> you gave him a spatula. So, like, you can't be upset that he came to that conclusion when he needed a tablespoon and you hand him a fucking spatula. <laughs> so then that's why he flipped on you. Aww. The dad jokes even in there. I get no indication yeah. from Nick that anything's like wrong. 
something that Bo Blacks will never be. Vile, yeah. I was trying to say vile. Yeah, Destiny's vile. See. You know, some people might have thought it was like evil or vile, but it's vile. Uh, not showing new info. This isn't new info. Okay. That's bullshit. What's bullshit? What? Oh, here's a little bit more context. This shows how frequently they were talking up till then. So here we have, they talked around February 15th, and he says that I'm blocking him everywhere, and he keeps finding ways to DM me about someone. And then tips are sucking up to Keffels after publicly humiliating him is perfect for supporting the Apollo Legend segment, LMAO. And that was in March, so almost a month later. And then, Christ, four months later? Math nah, worked for me. Yeah, four months later is when the, the whole thing happens. In the span of like a week. Ten days total. Because it starts on the 15th of July and ends on the 25th. Jeez. So they weren't even frequently... So, honestly, Boblax is not being an unreliable narrator there. He's actually being genuine. Yeah. My world is now messed up. Like, like that messes with my head. Like, he, <laughs> he was being he's being genuine as far as, like, no, we don't even talk that much recently. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, not much else is said. Um, He, like, talks about some Sonic shit. And then starts playing some Sonic sh It's as bad as I thought it was. Because, like, he, uh, uh, it just shows that, like, you know, maybe Nick wasn't wrong with him being somewhat malicious. Just, it, we weren't, the maliciousness wasn't, though, so over. with that situation. It was the, it was with that he's willing to frame and try to, like, go after tom and honestly tom is one of the few people in this drama that's like the, uh, like said the least done much yeah in pretty much nothing like yeah doesn't really made deserve it made a joke yeah like, and then he's getting the full ire when nick is the one that's like literally leaking dms and private communications and somehow tom is worse so i think that just lends the whole like theory that you have more credence because it's like why would you know a skibbity meme that tom overuses be like more damning than like anything nick has done in this yeah. last like segment of his of this little drama yeah i just i, I thought it was kind of interesting like i i i drew all those correlations with all this like i said there's not much here at the end so but yeah, I, I thought it was interesting. Like, there's a lot of tidbits of stuff here that, like, I feel like people are missing out on. And one of the biggest was, like, I walked away with this feeling less sympathetic towards Bo Blacks. And mind you, this is supposed to be the more candid, more revealing, more personable side of him that he would review, kind of reveal to his fucking members. You know what I mean? Like, typically when you're talking about your members, like, these are the people that support you. These are the people that you're going to be probably more genuine with. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like, take the mask off a little bit and get some relatability with them. Or, you know, you build that parasocial bridge or whatever you want to fucking call it. Yeah, that's the part I think that's, that's the worst, <laughs> honestly, is the fact that, like, one, he's getting one guide by the, like, different people in his chat. That is the most of five. <laughs> that... <laughs> too like like he's getting like like it's just sad like he's getting one guide by various guys and it's not like he has a huge chat either no and no. it's like like it's... you said like it should be that's his most honest and what we're seeing isn't isn't good yeah it, it looks way more malicious it looks <laughs> Like, everything Nick has been saying could actually be right. Yeah. And it lends a lot more credence to Nick. Yeah.